I think uh, Kabira maybe is on the right track because when you look at uh, the examples of Uganda, what uh, the Ugandan uh, uh, leader is doing to his opposition, uh, especially Colonel Chiza Besije, and you look across in Rwanda what Paul Kagame has done to uh, Victoria Ingavire. Uh, Kabira is probably reading from uh, the same uh, uh, textbook. Uh, your thoughts on that? Well, I couldn't agree with you more, Paul, because when you think about it, uh, some of these guys, once they get in power, they are not tolerant of opposition groups. They want a monopoly. So you are right in saying that uh, he probably has borrowed a leaf or learned from uh, some of his senior colleagues in the region. Uh, Shaka, you've had an opportunity to uh, interact uh, with uh, President uh, Kabira. Uh, I don't know if you've had an opportunity to interact with uh, um, Mohise Katombe. But uh, what makes uh, Kabila uh, the kind of man uh, he, uh, that he is? Frankly, at the beginning, I thought that he was on the right course, that he was probably the right man at the right time in the right place. But unfortunately, a lot of, a lot of uh, developments and facts and what have you uh, have tended to contradict that kind of earlier perception that I had. Well, some people have said, of course, that uh, people change. After all, society is dynamic. It is not static. But, you know, I believe, as somebody once said, that becoming a president does not change you, really. Rather, it reveals you. You get the opportunity to show who you actually are. And maybe what we are looking at right now is what Joseph Kabila is.